Well, first, I just want to share that what has kind of brought this forward uh, is that every month in VIP, which stands for Very Intuitive Person, uh, every month there is a Zoom call. So there are five years of Zoom calls um, within the VIP Spiritual Hub. So I just wanted to share a little bit more about that. And so with that, let me just share. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to share me, ta-da, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and share um, my website. So Heather Corbett, spiritualadvisor.com. And so with this, um, this shares all about what VIP is. And so there are 13 courses within VIP. And then also uh, within VIP, we have these live Zoom calls and just witnessing that there are all of these courses. So group brain spotting crystals, star children, Claire's, so currently we're working on your soul essence. And with that too, you get to be able to really dive into the spiritual courses. And then we also have a Facebook group where we uh, are able to ask for insights daily. And I go live every morning and just share more about spiritual education. And so with that, we have uh, insight night. Oh, what a night on Wednesday nights and uh, super excited to be able to bring all of those uh, insights to you. We also have, these are your bonuses. So you get um, all the guided meditations to meet your guides. Um, we have monthly spirit circles by our very own Kirsty Harlan. Uh, she leads our monthly spirit circles and she's been in VIP since nearly the beginning. And then we also have um, practice and check in with Veronica, who's also another VIP uh, veteran. So with that, um, then I want to give a huge shout out. Let me go ahead and share about more with the VIPs. So I just want to share, if you do want to join us, you can join uh, VIP with the code love VIP and about the courses. So here is, if you were to go on uh, the website and then you go into log in, then you're able to put in your password once you join VIP. And here are uh, the different courses. And so I wanted to share more about what we've been doing with Soul Essence as we dive into Soul Essence. So with VIP, these are all the courses. I, I was looking at this as cracking it because it's zero of 326 lessons that I have completed. <laughs> like, oh, it's just a look at my progress, darn it. So there are, there are 326 um, different modules in here. Um, so you can get to know your guides, uh, the mediumship courses in here, star children, brain spotting, um, spirit circle meditations, old souls course. And so we're looking at your soul essence. And with your soul essence, uh, we have already kind of talked about what your soul essence is. We've also been able to access the soul star chakra, looking at kindred spirits and who you really jive with. And then also looking at uh, the Enneagram. And then we also did brain spotting to be able to really connect with our soul essence and then looked at flow. So that flow of being able to be in timelessness with your soul essence. So I wanna share more about this and just give you all a better understanding of what your soul essence is and then consciousness. So we're really going to be diving into consciousness today and into different forms of consciousness, especially dreams. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put myself as I'm going to pin myself. Some people have um, requested that. So I'm going to go ahead and pin myself. And I just want to share more about your soul essence, just so you can all get up to date on what that is exactly. So with your soul essence, and just let me know, can you see this? Can somebody give me a thumbs up that you can see this? Or um, actually, Hesse, if you can take yourself off mute, because I can't see anybody. Can you tell me if you can see this? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. And if I go forward, can you see the next one? Yep. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Okay. So mm -hmm. with this, um, your soul essence. So your soul essence came in uh, for me uh, November of 2021. And I just remember that uh, spirit came in and just said, okay, we want, we want you to be able to convey what a soul essence is. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> tell me. And I feel too, that they were just sharing, like, you need to trust because I wanted all the information and I wanted it ASAP. 
And so what's tricky about that is that it's been kind of in the making. But I remember I was in an airport, um, you know, uh, security checkpoint line. And so when I was there, um, I was uh, getting these hits about the soul essence. They were sharing with me about the kindred spirits. And I just started kind of writing on um, my phone and just wanting to bring a lot of this uh, forward for everybody. So just to get you up to speed, what is the soul essence? Okay. And there's really not a whole lot of uh, information out there. And it's really interesting to me, like how they dropped it in. And I feel like when you get hits, when you get insights and uh, just witnessing that sometimes you may be the only one to get it. So I remember, I think it was six or seven years ago, I got some hits about star children. And with that, I kept getting the golden child, the golden child, but nobody had heard about the golden child. And there was nothing about the golden child on the internet anywhere with any articles or anything else. And I just thought, well, I guess it's just a fluke. I'm just hearing about this golden child. And instead, um, like a year later, a bunch of other people had gotten the same hit. And all of a sudden, there's a bunch of information on the golden child out there. So with this one, I was like, mm -mm -mm, I hear you. And I'm going to bring this information forward. Um, so with this, um, really witnessing, like, what is the soul essence? What is this? So with that, just witnessing that the soul is our omnipresence. The soul is our being. The soul is what we always have lifetime to lifetime. And so with this, just witnessing that that soul continues, that soul will always continue. And so I really like this quote, it's you don't have a soul, you are a soul you have a body. And so just looking at C.S. Lewis, there's other philosophers out there too that really have an understanding of what that soul is. So with this, this is another way of being able to conceptualize your soul. So just witnessing that soul is our instinct, soul is our intuition. So trusting your instincts, their messages from your soul. And so witnessing that over the years, there's been all of these different um, philosophers and researchers. And with that, they have been able to really bring forward uh, that, uh, you know, the, the soul and just witnessing that with this, this is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years of having an understanding of what the soul is. And so as we've evolved, just witnessing that we can conceptualize it more. And with this, just witnessing to trust your instincts, that that is your soul. So intuition, instincts, that's your soul. So with this too, here's another quote that really talks and speaks into the soul. So just as your soul gives life to you, the consciousness, the universal spirit, the pure love of creation gives life to your soul. So really, truly, our soul is from the omnipresence, from spirit, from God, from source. And so with that, just really witnessing that and really witnessing that we are of source. OK, and, and we know that. And at the same time, you know, really witnessing that with this quote, with this uh, understanding that we truly are part of God, part of omnipresence, source, universe. And with that, that we're, we're meant to be here and we're re meant to be able to orchestrate this life. We've been given this life and this soul in this lifetime. And so with that, as we're going through this, just really pay attention to um, for those of you who know what the clairs are, just how you're experiencing this. So so if you are experiencing clairsentience, you may be feeling like just this amazing sense of euphoria or excitement or knowing, like just feeling this sense of knowing. Also, just witnessing that you may start getting chills as we're sharing more about your soul essence. And so that would be your clair tangency online. So just really witness. How are you witnessing? How are you feeling your soul? So then with this, too, and we're moving into more of the expression, which is the essence part of it. So soul is that omnipresence and then essence is the expression. And so just witnessing that with this quote, the song of your soul is longing to be sung. So there's a way that we need to orchestrate our soul and that is through the essence, okay? So let your own essence express itself freely. And so that's why you're here. You're here to be able to express yourself freely. You're here to be able to really witness that you are necessary here and that everything that you have been given in this lifetime, every way that you express yourself, that this was given from omnipresent, from source, and you were meant to be able to express it. So if you are a singer or an artist or a runner or a cross-stitcher, like whatever, whatever you enjoy, whatever you are, yeah. like you 
witnessing that you were meant to be here and you are meant to be able to express this form of the soul in this body. Okay. So then looking at this other quote, I love this. So what these quotes are doing are almost like kind of creating the scene or orchestrating how we are being able to understand what is soul, what is soul, what is essence, what is soul essence. Okay. So with that, just being able to dip into your own soul, okay, find your own truth. Like, again, this is why you're here. And it's almost bringing tears to my eyes, just because I feel like there's so much of society that really wants to change us and shift us. But we are meant to follow our heart and we're meant to follow our truth. So dip into your own soul and find your own truth. Like, who are you? We need you to be you. And what calls to your heart, what moves your spirit, make your life dance to the song of your own essence. So there it is again, being able to express ourselves is that essence. So with this, oh, this is, <laughs> this is my journaling um, here, come into my journal. Um, so as I was trying to grapple with all of this, I started asking like, so how do we access the soul essence? Like I understand that it's there, but it almost felt nebulous to me and the soul sometimes feels nebulous to me. And so this is what they shared. They um, gave me all of the chakras and then they put an infinity sign through all of the chakras. And then they said, you need to access the soul essence through the soul star. And so I was like, okay, so here we go. So with this um, soul essence course, the evolution of that, we were able to access our soul star, I believe it was in the third module. And so <laughs> how's this bird looking at all? <laughs> looking at my journal, come on in. Um, so with that, uh, this is one of my friends. She was just like, I cannot read your handwriting. <laughs> And so um, with that, though, this is automatic writing. So that's probably why. But it says, are you a twin, are you a twin soul essence? And then I heard enmeshment, Heather. And then I was just trying to understand. I was like, what is this? You need to guide others like you with this evolution. Like, oh, my gosh, can anybody else make sense of all this? So then I said, OK you need to you need to make this make more sense to me. So this is the soul essence at the top. And they were sharing, you need to guide and heal others like you. And I feel like many of you are here because you're guiding and healing others like you as well. Okay. So I, I, we're all here together. So then with this, they said, while you are guided, healers will simultaneously assist everyone else's evolution. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> I like this. Um, so with this, just witnessing that we all are helping each other's evolution. We're all here because we're assisting everybody else's evolution. And that's because our soul essence is expressing it ourselves to each other. So with that, um, I, this is me. <laughs> Sorry, this is me. I don't know if you can see that. It says it feels ambiguous because <laughs> I was just like, come on now. <laughs> What's going on here? And then they, this is their answer to me. Seriously. I was like, are you kidding me right now? It's not. Keep going. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of the beginnings of the soul essence where I was just like, okay, yeah, whatever. You just keep telling me what to do. So then it's, it's been able to evolve. And with this, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, quotes here. Your soul is the essence of who you truly are. It is timeless. It is ageless and it is eternal. And so with this really being able to witness that you truly are eternal, you truly are timeless, you truly are ageless. And with this, just being able to allow for our soul to orchestrate through us and to allow for us to be able to express our soul. We're meant to be who we are. We're meant to be able to be in a sense of truth, in a sense of alignment, in a sense of who we were, we are told to come here to do. So then with that, uh, I loved these other quotes, discover your own, discover your soul's essence. And then we moved into kindred spirits. And so just really with soul essences, when you find a kindred spirit, it's because your soul essence and their soul essence are in combination with each other. Your soul essence and their soul, soul essence is in vibration with each other. So these are some really great quotes about kindred spirits. And again, tap into your own clairsentience. What are you feeling right now? What are you witnessing as I say these quotes? Because this is your soul essence talking to you, okay? Important encounters are planned by the souls long before the body see each other, right? So our vibrations, our souls knew each other before we even got here. Isn't that cool? 
That's cool. And they were planned. These soul encounters were planned long before our bodies knew each other. And I am just getting teary. I get super teary when um, I get a lot of uh, the spirit information coming forward. And so with that, it's, I, that's one of my spirit signs. So really being able to witness that, that we were meant to all be here together, which I'm, I just feel very, very glad and very honored to be here with everybody. So here we go. Sometimes you meet a person and you just click. You're comfortable with them like you've known them your whole life and you don't have to pretend to be anyone or anything. And I feel sometimes with my own upbringing, like I shared tumultuous developmental trauma, that type of thing, just witnessing that I almost feel like I had to go through everything so that I almost was able to experience what what everybody else would experience in a lifetime. I, I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody, but at the same time, I just feel that. And I feel like other people here probably feel this like same, like, why did I go through every, all of these things? It's really so that we're able to allow for our vibration to be comfortable with others vibrations. So just witnessing those kindred spirits that are in your life, really being able to pay attention. What do you feel with these quotes? Um, and then you can think about different people that you feel really connected with. This is a good one too. People come and go, but once in a while you meet someone who's supposed to be in your life and your heart goes, ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. You have found a member of your tribe. And that's what we've noticed too. A lot of VIPs will say like, I just feel like I know everybody here, you know? And so I just feel like witnessing that vibration um, coming forward. And so anybody that's not muted, if you can go ahead and mute yourself, um, that would be great. So kindred spirits, some more, there's something about kindred spirits. You meet them. And for a moment, this world, no matter how ugly makes sense. So I don't know if other people have felt very lost, very lonely, very, you know, alone, but then all of a sudden you meet one of those kindred spirits and you're like, aha, found you. They bring a sense of freedom and clarity to the conversation, just enough to remind you of who you are. Okay. And so thinking about those people, um, and even if it's various people that maybe you haven't met yet, but you know of, but you just feel this connection with them. Um, and so, you know, just to give another shout out to Kirsty, who um, channels the celebrities, there's just different times, you know, that um, she may feel connected to some of the celebrities, and it feels like that kindred spirit um, essence. So just being able to witness that as well. So another great one, we are kindred spirits forged in different fires, but kindred. So the, uh, the kindred spirits soul essence module goes more into depth with that one. So with this too, we also dived into, dove into the Enneagram and then being able to see how our soul essences really connect with the Enneagram. Uh, so that was another way of being able to be in, uh, in an understanding of how our soul is trying to express itself. Um, so there's that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the share. And then with that, um, okay, I see some uh, comments. Uh, and so I see that, uh, <laughs> Hesse, did you say that you're a seven? Um, I love that. So, okay, excellent, excellent. So people are just sharing some more stuff in uh, the chat. I love this. And so uh, I love it, love it, love it. This is so good to see. We're all part of the world mosaic to help each other and the world. Very good. Your vibe attracts your tribe. And this is an amazing tribe. So grateful to be in VIP. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hesse, sweet. So good. Investigator. <laughs> We got the investigator too. Um, so that's Emily. So with that, being able to dive even more into other senses of consciousness and being able to, um, and I love this. I'm sorry. I'm watching the chat because people are talking about their enneagrams. <laughs> what was I again? Um, so I love that. I'm a three. So I'm just like that achiever, that motivator. And then my husband is a thinker. So he's a five. Um, and so on our podcast, the spiritual life Pro podcast, we talk a little bit more about that. And it's tricky. It's tricky being uh, in a soul essence of a five and achiever and that type of thing. And he's this thinker. So there's times where I'll be asking him questions <laughs> and I'm like, come on, 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 come on. But he needs to like think through through everything that um, it has to do with whatever that particular subject is. So it's interesting to see what soul essences are attracted to other soul essences. Um, so you can find out what you are, uh, Enneagram, and in the course, I believe I have the quiz to be able to, perfect, JC's going to go ahead and send you that quiz. Um, so there we go. Mm -hmm. So 
really being able to understand uh, our, our dream state or other consciousness state. So I really felt it was necessary to give us a little synopsis of what is the soul, what is the essence, us wanting to make sure that we are expressing ourselves and being able to have a better understanding of that expression of ourselves and that we're supposed to be true to who we are. So with that, then also uh, we are able to shift in consciousness. So with the module of the soul essence and flow, um, just really witnessing that then you are able to be in this sense of timelessness. So with dreams, just being able to witness that we are able to access dreams. And this is this other altered state of consciousness. And so with that, just being able to witness, and I'd love to see by a show of hands, like, does anybody remember their dreams? Uh, so if you just want to put your little reaction button up, I'd love to just hear more about that. And I feel like with this, um, just Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. You know what we'll do? Let me go ahead and send the Enneagram quiz with the follow-up email because you're all going to, you're all going to get this replay um, in the email. So we'll put it, we'll put it in there because many people want it, the Enneagram um, quiz. So that, that feels good to do that. Yeah. Thank you for asking Keila. And I think um, maybe Susie had asked as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll put it in the, in the, in the email. So being able to look at dreams or being able to look at other senses of consciousness. So with this, thank you. I see. I get you. Um, so so, um, those of you who haven't heard me channel before, um, I, I say that. <laughs> so I say thank you. Okay, I got it. So you're just gonna you're gonna hear me um, hear more about that. And so with that, just being able to have a better understanding of consciousness and being able to be in other states of consciousness and being able to be in this timelessness. And so just like I shared with flow, we're able to be in this sense of timelessness. And so with that, um, I'm just reading the chat that other some people are sharing that. Um, that they are having just recently having some dreams. Uh, and so people are just sharing about their dreams in the chat. So thank you for sharing that. So with that, dreams are this other sense of consciousness, and they have been kind of evaluated and researched for, you know, hundreds of years. And with that, too, a lot of people have been able to come forward and just witness like that these dream states have, are very prophetic, you know, and so some people may even feel like when they're channeling or that kind of thing, they may be um, kind of wake dreaming. So just witnessing that there is a different sense of consciousness there. So a dream is like a mental state, and it is an altered state of consciousness. So just witnessing that it could be um, kind of fiction or it could be nonfiction, right? So just witnessing that as well. And it's internally generated. So as we're in our waking state, we're externally generating, right? So that soul essence is really assisting us to take action. That essence part of us is taking action. But as we're dreaming, we're having this internal state. So the essence is allowing our internal state to be able to be expressing itself. And so with that, we may have sensory uh, components of this. We might have perceptual components where we're really trying to understand uh, perceptually, like how we are perceiving what is in front of us. We may also have emotional experiences as we're dreaming. So with that, it's also dreams are also sensory motor. So sensory, um, <laughs> Dana's like, my ear is right, ear is ringing. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Getting some spirit signs as we're sharing this. Perfect. So with that, it's sensory motor. So, um, so I'm an occupational therapist. I've done a lot with sensory processing and understanding the sensory system. And so with that sensory, I mean, obviously your five senses and then motor. So our dreams are allowing us to be able to have this sensory experience. Oh, Dana's an OT too. That's so synchronistic that you just <laughs> that you just shared that in the chat. So then with that, that motor, that motoric that we're, you know, making some type of movement within that dream. So there may be times where you feel like you're running in your dreams, you feel like you're flying in your dreams. So they also share that dreams are like hallucinations. And so I want to just kind of bring this forward and bring this in and just witnessing that hallucinations. I mean, that's that's a that's a great thing. It's just visuals, right? It's just images. And I feel like hallucinations have kind of gotten a bad rap. Um, um, but at the same time, I mean, it's these images, it's our mind. And so witnessing that with dreams, this is our, our internal system being able to, our essence being able to internally give us feedback, give us understanding, okay? What's really, really interesting that I, I feel is that we do have a sensory experience in our dreams, but we don't smell. So I thought that was so interesting um, as I was doing some of my research um, is that we don't smell, 
in our dreams. I think that's so interesting. If anybody does, <laughs> please come forward and let me know. Um, I want to like, let's research you. Let's, let's, let's see what, what's going on, how you're able to smell when you dream. Um, but also again, just witnessing that in this internal state that we, we can be active. So witnessing that we have this like external state of consciousness where we're externally, you know, allowing for our world to be orchestrated but we also have that internal world. And so as we're in our dreams, we're able to, let's say, fight. We're able to be um, expressing ourselves in some way, shape, or form. And so with that, that is our soul essence wanting to express ourselves. And so also being able to really see and to witness that as we're expressing ourselves, that spirit that, uh, thank you, I see, I see, um, that spirit is wanting to be able to give us even more information. And they're want, go ahead, please, they're wanting to be able to share this like within this dream state within this consciousness state within this uh internal consciousness and so with that i see go ahead please yep i they're just showing me too that with this it's it's really wanting us to be able to be in a state of internal consciousness and with that then the outside world is almost filtered out so that you're able to just be telescoping into this uh internal world and spirit and source is able to give us even more uh within so this is kind of funny because I just asked them I you know because I I was sharing earlier about soul essence about being able to witness that we are soul and that our soul is connected to spirit right so omnipresent and then um I just shared so then you're really truly like inside us as we're doing some of this internal processing or internal engagement of sorts and with this um sorry <laughs> heard of like the finger trap right I felt like all of a sudden I was like a finger trap um, and so I just felt like okay so you're coming in here sorry these are the conversations I have with spirit so you, you're coming in here right right you're coming into my internal state of consciousness and they're just showing me it's a flow Heather it's a flow because I was just like looking for almost just like you know witnessing like you're coming in are you going back out and they're like it's a flow it's a flow <laughs> so with that just being able to witness that spirit is inside us we are of soul and then with this they're really wanting us to be able to filter out human ego to be able to really hone in on our intuition hone in on what's inside us so i'm going to talk about lucid dreaming and i'm also going to talk about being a dream empath and so um perfect actually that's christy you just segued right into that i see heavenly otherworldly colors and hear heavenly sounds in my dreams but no smells <laughs> but that was a wonderful amazing segue to being able to really witness what this lucid dreaming is. And so with that lucid dreaming, we're able to see spirit. We're able to get into this higher knowledge. And that, that's what's so cool. <laughs> Sorry, just having these conversations with spirit. I was like, so because you're in us, right? And they're, and they're, they're just, yes, of course. Of course, Heather. I'm sure my spirit guides are like hitting themselves against the walls. I get to tap a confirmation. Um, so with that, just witnessing that they're us, they're in us, like spirit is in us, okay? And so... Um, Yes. And so Susie just asked, do you say I'm open to receive before sleeping? You are all ahead of me, VIPs, like every single one of you. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you re you're reading my thoughts, you're reading my mind, what's going on here? Um, and so I love that. I'm just getting some more... Um... <laughs> some more questions in the chat. Um, so you are. And so with that lucid dreaming, we can really kind of prime ourselves for that uh, sleep, for that dream state. We can really prime ourselves for that. So sometimes people get a lot of their hits in uh, their channeling, their intuition in dream state. Thank you. Go ahead, please. I see. Um, so they're just showing me too that with this, it's almost just witnessing that we have this uh, understanding that it is the same wavelength as me channeling right now. Meditation, dreams, what I'm doing right now, all the same wavelength, okay? And so we're just wanting to help you all to be able to access and to be able to really utilize your dreaming because that is that state of internal awareness, being able to occlude anything out with any ego state. So with that, the lucid dreaming, okay, and there's been a lot of research on this, and what I loved, oh my gosh, I loved this, was that my son in, in middle school, he's in high school now, but he um, he studied lucid dreaming. I'm like, this is my kid right here. And so he did a speech on it and all this other stuff. And then so we were teaching each other how to lucid dream. It was really, really cool. I was like, oh, I love this kid. Uh, I'm glad he was given to me, man. Um, so I feel like with that, um, just witnessing, thank you, go ahead. I just asked a question about if he and I have like a kindred spirit soul essence, and they're like, well, of course, that's why we gave him to you. I'm like, thank you so much. So with this lucid dreaming, lucid dreaming is a rare state of 
sleep. Okay. So it's a rare state of sleep. Um, okay. Yes. Very good, Kayla. Very good. People are talking about how to prime their minds for lucid dreaming. So this is really good. This is what we're segueing into. Um, oh, I think you feels like he chose you to be his mom. Aww, I'll take it. Uh, so with this, um, that lucid dreaming is a rare state of sleep in which people will achieve awareness of their own state of consciousness. So that's what this lucid dreaming is, is that we are aware of our own state of consciousness. So just witnessing that we can have that external state of consciousness, we can have this internal state of consciousness of dreaming. Lucid dreaming is bringing those consciousness consciousness is together. And so really, really allowing all of us to be able to witness that with this lucid dreaming, thank you, go ahead, please. I see what you're saying. Go ahead, please. They're just showing me something with the lucid dreaming that we can also create within the lucid dreams, that we can also manifest within the lucid dreams. And that's what they're wanting us to be able to do. Um, so there, I just said to them, I'm like, I didn't see that coming. You're like, yeah, yeah, we know, Heather, we know. <laughs> We know. I'm like, I didn't see that coming though. That's really awesome. So I feel like with this too, just being able to be in this uh, state of consciousness and state of awareness that with that lucid dreaming, we are external, we are internal, and we are also able to orchestrate our life. We're also able to really allow for that manifestation. Thank you. It's, it's limitless. It's limitless. So just witnessing that as spirit is inside us, thank you. Keep going, please. They're just showing me that as spirit is inside us, then just really witnessing that with that, then whatever we're wanting, we're in that connection with them. Third eye is, is plugged into spirit. So really allowing us to be able to witness that and more um, in the soul, soul star chakra. Uh, thank you. Go ahead, please. Module. We're able to see that. So with this, then we are able to skill, we are able to train ourselves to do this. So it is a skill. And so witnessing that we can do this in two different ways, we can do it probably in other ways as well, but we can have some kind of external sensory stimulation that then kind of primes our system to be able to move into that lucid dreaming. Okay. So this is happening in REM sleep, but at the same time, we can kind of prime our system to be able to go into that lucid dreaming. Also just being able to train ourselves. And I think Kayla had said something in the chat. Others had said something in the chat about being able to contemplate and being able to move into an understanding that I'm going into a lucid dream. So my son and I, what we would do is we would, um, we would, uh, it's almost like in meditation where you almost like drop and then all of a sudden you're in this other state of awareness. And so really witnessing that with that, then that helps us to be able to know that we are, we are in charge and that we are really being able to orchestrate that um, that dream that's coming through. So with this, recognizing that that lucid dream is this hybrid of consciousness. So it's both waking and dreaming. And um, Hesse just shared something about like insight timer being able to assist us to kind of pull us ourselves out of that REM sleep so that we can um, better understand and better pull ourselves out of the dream state. So with this, within the lucid dreams, we're having that abstract thinking, we're having metacognition, we're having self-reflective thought. So we are very, very conscious of both states of awareness. We can also control. So in lucid dreaming, we can control the outline. We can control the timelines. You know, anybody in here who has lucid, had lucid dreaming, you can uh, almost like change the course of where you're going. You can also change uh, people from, let's say, if like all of a sudden you're seeing your mom walk in the front door, um, you could have her come in like the back door or something like that. So just witnessing that we can really um, allow us to be in a state of understanding that we can control. So if you're wanting to have more of those lucid dreams, then what we would want you to do is to be able to um, prime your brain before you're going in, right? And then just really, go ahead, please. And then really allow for you to have, again, that external sensory stimulation. So with this, um, I wanna share a little bit more about, Jess, I see your little girl. Um, I wanna share more about um, brain spotting because that's where we're gonna head into. We're gonna head into brain spotting so that you all are able to get into this other sense of consciousness. Okay, love brain spotting, up and down the block, love it. First, I want to share a little bit more about dream empath. So dream empath is the other type of dream that I want to share about. So if you're a dream empath, then you have vivid dreams that you remember. And with this, those dreams are bypassing ego. Those dreams are able to allow us to bypass that linear mind and also giving us that clear intuition. 
Okay. And so with this, this is where we're getting that healing, that spirituality, we're overcoming our difficult emotions. And so with that, as Christy was sharing earlier about getting, you know, a lot of celestial beings in her dreams, then with this, what that is, is allowing us to be able to witness that we could be in that lucid dream state, we could be a dream empath. So really being able to come in there with dream empaths, uh, then this is where we're seeing our spirit guides. This is where we're able to uh, really allow ourselves to travel to other realms. Um, and so with dream empath, I mean, similar to lucid dreaming, um, lucid dreaming is those two states of consciousness, that dream empath is being able to really allow for that clear intuition to come in, that spiritual information to come forward. And so with that, it's assisting us too to be able to travel to other realms. And to be able to prime this one, it is to ask a question before you go to sleep. So please tell me more about my career. Um, you could say, you could ask a question about my relationship. You could ask a question about, uh, sorry, I have so many VIPs across the top that I, you can ask questions about the VIPs. <laughs> How are all those VIPs doing? Um, so you can ask any question and that's really going to kind of prime the pump for that dream empath. So with this too, um, I just want to share about lucid dreaming and then also about dream empath that we're moving this state of consciousness, this external um, state of consciousness, we're really assisting us to be able to make that part of that internal world and having that, uh, having more of that volition, more of that control, more of that choice as we're allowing for our bodies, our beings, our consciousness to be in lucid dreaming or to be a dream empath. And so with that um, too, and I'll catch up on questions in, in a little bit. Um, great questions, great questions. I, I love what's coming through. But I really want to assist all of you to be able to move more into this state of other awareness. So um, I feel, again, with the different wavelengths of just witnessing, like I'm channeling, so I'm with spirit right now. I'm sure many of you are also intuitively like being guided right now as well. That's the same wavelength as these dreams. OK, so just witnessing that one of um, one person that I was um, kind of interviewing about uh, researching with uh, with lucid dreaming and whatnot, they just said, you know, perhaps we're we're in a wake. It feels like we're in an awake state, but we're actually dreaming. And I thought, ooh, that's good. That's really good. And so with that, I want to make sure that we can go ahead and get into this other state of consciousness, this other state of dreams, this other state of uh, awareness and being able to be in a waking state. Thank you. In, in a waking state and also being able to elicit and combine that internal state. So really allowing us to be in combination with that. So with that, let me go ahead and check in on the chat, y'all. What y'all doing? What, what are you doing over here? What are you doing? <laughs> Little mischief makers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so let's see. I mean, I just want to catch up. Um, so yes, okay, uh, okay. So I think I think these are all new messages. Um, as <laughs> you're funny. So if my house catches fire, I won't smell the smoke and wake up. So that's external. So you will smell external, but you won't smell what's internal. So if there's like smoke in the dream, but there's not smoke outside, you won't smell the smoke internally. Um, so that that's what's um, what they're sharing um, with that. And so then um <laughs> Stop, you're crazy. I wonder if this could be linked to my insomnia. Am I afraid of not being able to smell? <laughs> we'll look into that more later. Okay, so I love this. Susie just says, I've been using lucid dream meditations before bed. Um, and then Jess says, I used to lucid dream as a kid and teenager, but didn't know it would be a way of getting back into a dream I wanted to stay in or know more about, right? So being able to then take that dream and going back into it. Yeah, perfect. So insight timer, perfect. Uh, uh, Yay. So, okay. So Hesse just says, would dream impasse be able to travel to other people? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Hands down. And so this is where we're crossing the time space continuum in this other sense of consciousness. And so then witnessing. So, um, Tracy just asked, are the other people in spirit or still living? And so thank you. I see. Go ahead, please. They're just showing me that this would be up for you to decide. So really realizing that. And so with that, being able to use your clairs, your clairsentience, if you know um, what it, what a spirit feels like versus what a living being feels like, and then being able to feel that within your dream. Okay. Go ahead, please. And I feel, too, that they're showing me that with this, um, that we... 
Okay. I feel like they're just showing me that with this are the other people in spirit or still living, um, also asking and also um, witnessing that as well. So Emily just says, yes, I visit others often, both alive and in spirit. So I've heard that too. Uh, that's great, Emily, that you're bringing that forward. I think a lot of times people will say, you were my dream last night. I'm like, sweet, cool. I like that. Um, uh, perfect. And so JC just says, was afraid of spirit before. So I asked loved ones to come in my dreams to visit. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, perfect. So just um, catching up on the chat and any other questions, feel free with lucid dreaming or with dream empath to drop that in. What we're going to do now, and so a lot of times our VIP calls are about an hour, but just that we have more people here. I just wanted to share more um, with, you know, with all of uh, this understanding of the states of consciousness. So we're going to go into um, more of an experiential. So with this, a lot of times the... Um, uh, go ahead, please. Uh, they're just showing me almost like a, a 50 50 where there's times where it'll be all instruction and then uh, it like a little bit of experiential. Sometimes it's all experiential, especially the group brain spotting. So we're going to move into brain spotting and this is going to be a group effort. Um, oh, cool. Wow, Christy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I love this. Uh, I've smelled smoke in my dream during a retreat. Like the smoke was so thick and close to my nose, but nothing when I woke up. Christy, you're our anomaly. Well, now we need to research you. <laughs> okay, so Christy was in this at the Sedona retreat. That was powerful, girls. That was really cool um, last year. That was cool. So then brain spotting. So what is brain spotting? So um, with brain spotting, brain spotting is conducted by a person who <coughs> is a um, certified brain spotting therapist. And so with that, then being able to be guided by somebody who is trained in brain spotting. Uh, what I have noticed is that being able to train people and being able to guide people with brain spotting is that we can um, have a better understanding of almost like these access folders in our brain. So what is a brain spot? A brain spot is able to find a spot that you have a felt sense to. And with that, then that's an access into your mind. That's an access into your brain. And that's like a file folder. So with that, um, for me anyway, I've been able to find a lot of different brain spots. And one in particular is down here. And this is when I'm really trying needing to focus on something. So I did a lot with um, endurance athleticism. And so with that, there's just different times that I'll look right at that exact spot. And that will help me to be able to um, hone in on what uh, I'm needing to do uh, on a focus level. Go ahead, please. Okay, I get you. A lot of times when I'm doing mediumship readings, I'm right here. This is my mediumship brain spot. I mean, and it's 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 like clockwork. So a lot of times um, I'll be there. You'll notice too, I look down quite a bit. That's also another intuitive brain spot. So just throwing that out there. Um, brain spotting can be done on a one-on-one -on -one basis to be able to really uh, allow for any trauma to be resolved, any trauma to be released. So what happens with brain spotting is that we find that brain spot and then we're bypassing that neocortex, the thinking, thinking, talking brain, and so we're being able to go from that external state of awareness to the internal state of awareness through our subcortical and the brain spot assists us to do that. So with that, then um, just do your very best with this if this is your first time brain spotting. Um, but what I'm going to do is I have a pointer right here and we're just going to assist you to try to get a felt sense. So based on the premise where you look affects how you feel. Um, Dr. David Grant, who discovered brain spotting, he noticed that his clients, based on where he put the brain spot, they felt something different in their body. So we're going to just go ahead for those of you who haven't done brain spotting before just to get a felt sense. So go ahead and look at the top, look at the ball on the pointer. And with that, we're going to tune into your body by what you feel on this point, okay, then I'm going to shift it to the middle or what you feel here. So you might feel more calm or tension and then what you feel here. So I'll do it one more time so you can compare, especially if this is your first time. So what are you noticing here? For me, I'm noticing just, just a teeny bit of um, excitement. Here, I feel a state of calm here or here. 
So for some reason, for me, my shoulders dropped and I just, I felt really at ease over there. So with that, then each one of these points is access into my brain. So into your brain. So then with this, this excitement, if I was to do brain spotting with a, an attuned therapist, then what would happen is I would just, I don't know, I'm just feeling some excitement and maybe anxiousness. And then that's the file folder into that. This may be the file folder into calm. This may be the file folder into like relaxation. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to find that file folder into your other sense of consciousness. That's what that's what we're doing here. And so with that, just really being able to feel in your body. Thank you. I'm just asking some questions. I see you're saying so they're just showing me which one of these spots did you feel more in the present day? So that might be a little abstract but just witnessing that you were the most aware or you were the most focused with one of these spots. So just being able to just really witness which one of these spots did you have more focus with? So they're wanting us to be able to find like a control spot, okay? So being able to go through here and which one were you more in control or more present? Okay, and this is a little abstract and it's tricky when we're a group just because I'm not able to get feedback from you. But at the same time, which one of these feels like you're more focused, you're more here? Is it here? Is it here? Or is it here? So which one makes you feel like you're more present, more here? So I'm just going to leave, leave it right there. So with that, wherever you find your control spot or your focus spot, just allow yourself to be able to be on that spot. Okay, so you're just there, your control, you're in this outer space, not outer space, uh, external state of consciousness. <laughs> Not outer space. Okay, so you're in this external state of consciousness. All right, so you're just external. You're very, very aware. You're on a Zoom call right now. You're aware of the chair. You're aware of where you're sitting. You're aware um, if you're on the phone or the laptop. You're just very, very aware. So this is my control spot, but yours might be somewhere else. So feel free to look elsewhere. Now what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, a little different. Some people may feel a difference of being able to close their eyes. So what you're going to do is we're going to lead you in just a mini meditation. And with this, we're opening up the internal state of consciousness, the lucid dreaming, we're opening up the dream empathy, we're just opening up this internal state of consciousness. So with that, just allow yourself to be able to witness as you feel a beautiful light coming in to the top of your head and just allowing for you to be in this state of ease and comfort as you allow for the light to travel from the top of your head down to your face, to your throat, to your chest, down through your body, your stomach. There you go. There you go. All the way down your body. So with that, just allow yourself to take a few deep breaths. At this time, allow yourself to witness that you are walking on a path Allow yourself to be able to see that this path can be made of whatever you are feeling it to be made of. It could be brick, it could be sand, it could be grass. Just allow yourself to know that this path is your path. This is your life path. As you're walking on this path, allow yourself to be able to be in a sense of ease and in a sense of understanding that all things are possible and everything can happen here. As you're ready, as you're walking, allow yourself to look down to your feet or your shoes, just to see what you notice there. 
You may be barefoot, you may have sandals on, you may have shoes on, just notice what you notice. As you are walking, you allow yourself to witness that there is a beautiful rainforest in front of you. As you see this rainforest, you are using your clairvoyance and with this, this is an internal state of consciousness. Allow yourself to see, allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to witness this rainforest with all of its beautiful, bright, brilliant colors and allow yourself to be able to move into the forest. As you are walking, allow yourself to be able to be in this higher state of awareness. And as you're walking, you see that there is a bench up ahead. And as you're walking toward this bench, you allow yourself to witness that there is a loved one in spirit. This may be a familiar loved one to you, or it may be a guide of yours or an angel. Just allow yourself to witness who is sitting on the bench before you. As you come closer to the bench, allow yourself to sit down next to who is here for you. <clears throat> and allow yourself to be able to be in this internal state of consciousness with whoever is before you. Allow yourself to, with this internal state of consciousness, allow yourself to have conversation with this celestial being. Allow yourself to ask any questions and allow yourself to receive the answers. As you are ready, you notice that your loved one or your guide or angel has a gift for you. So allow yourself to be able to receive this gift. This feels very timely, very memorable, and exactly what you need to see at this time. With this gift, you are able to keep this gift. You're able to take this back to external state of consciousness. And with this, you know exactly why your celestial being or loved one gave you this gift. So as you are taking this gift, just allow yourself to wrap up conversation and with that you witness that you and your loved one or guardian angel are now walking back on the path that brought you into the rainforest and you feel a sense of ease and calm and you allow for you and your loved one or guide or angel to have telepathic communication just allow for your thoughts to talk with each other. And as you are walking out of the forest, you notice that your path has changed. And you allow yourself to look down at your feet or your sandals or your shoes. And you just witness to see if those have changed as well. So you and your loved one are standing at the end of the path that was once the beginning. And with this, your loved one wants you to know that they are with you at any time and at all times. So as you're ready, <clears throat> allow yourself to witness that you are feeling that light through your body once again. And with this, you know that your loved one is right there with you. So allow yourself to feel that light coming up through your legs, 
up through your chakra column to your chest and to your neck, to your face. And as you're ready, open your eyes and see where you're looking. And with that, just have this understanding and this knowledge that this is your brain spot for a different sense of consciousness. So just allowing yourself to witness that wherever you're looking, this is your other state of consciousness. So just witnessing that, allowing for you to be in an understanding that this is the other state of consciousness. So as you're ready, this is your internal state of consciousness. This is a spot where you may be able to access your intuition. This is your internal state. And now we're ebbing it with our external state. And if you feel so obliged, allow yourself to go back to that control or to that present, wherever your spot was, and just feel the difference. What does it feel like to be like in present moment in external consciousness? And then if you want, go ahead and look at that spot that you opened your eyes to, to that internal state of consciousness. And just knowing that you're able to access that external state of consciousness and the internal state of consciousness and that you can ebb and flow between the two. So with that, we'll be sending out the replay so you can do this again. And also just allow yourself to kind of flag where your uh, internal state of consciousness is, where your present brain spot is, because you can always come back to these and be able to really access that. So this is a way of being able to really ebb and flow and combine that internal state of consciousness and the external state of consciousness and just being able to kind of go in and out. And so then with this, you know, just witnessing, a, I believe, um, I think Susie's still on here and she um, was able to find an intuition spot. And so just witnessing that, I think there's others too that have been in the group brain spotting sessions and just being able to find that intuition spot. So just allowing for yourself to do that. So we'd love to open it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you really went to an internal state of consciousness, Deborah. Um, so any questions, I'm here. Um, Jeffy just said, I had asked for deeper clarity last night before bed, realizing now I wasn't specific and dreamed about my ex stepmom. And this morning on Facebook, I saw it was her birthday today. Interesting. Yes, very, very good. Um, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> oh, so would love to open it up if anybody has any questions. Totally fine. If not, um, and I feel um, too good. Good, 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 Emily. I feel to go ahead, and it seems like people are in this still in this internal state of consciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap us up. I'm going to wrap us up in prayer. I'm going to take take down our brain spot, our control. Uh, brain spot. And just like I said, you can do this on the replay uh, and would love to have you in VIP. For those who are not in VIP, the code is love VIP to join us. And with that, if you want to join us um, for six months, you get one month free. If you want to join us for a year, you get two months free. And then you also get um 10% off any sessions, retreats, Reiki classes, mediumship classes, and we just love to have you. So thank you so much for joining us today for, um, I believe this is part seven of the Soul Essence course. Um, so Soul Essence in your dreams. Thank you so much. Let me just go ahead and wrap us up in prayer. Awesome. Oh, I see. You, need, oh, you needed their love and guidance today. Beautiful. Father, Mother, God, all of our spirit teams, loved ones, please step forward from spirit. We ask that you please bless this incredible, amazing space. Please bless every single person that is on here, every single person that's on the replay, and allow us all to be able to access our internal states of consciousness, our external states of consciousness, and allow us to be in communion with you. Allow us to be able to access our intuition, allow us to be able to express our soul in this lifetime, and allow us to be there for each other. Allow us to know that we are all here for each other's evolution and assisting all of us to be able to speak and to know and to be able to live from our hearts and from the truth of who we are. Please surround each and every person here with incredible light and love and protection. We ask all of this the highest light and love and blessings of all. Amen. 
So wonderful to have everybody. You all take care. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.